is good everybody welcome back to another my name toys video today ladies and gentlemen we're going to be diving into an interesting topic that i think we've covered before here on the channel but this one is specifically on the flip side of things you guys know that we just got finished up with san diego comic-con not too long ago and we had a bunch of insane reveals probably the most insane reveals that we've ever seen as a wwe action figure community as far as just the broadness and the advancement in these figures and everything like that but while there are their advances and while there are some spectacular figures that you absolutely want to grab these are going to be some figures that we saw at SDCC that you may want to skip on and I'm going to give you some reasons behind maybe wanting to skip it or exactly you know the reasoning behind that and everything like that now barring if you guys just want a simple head you know head like true effects upgrade or you know you can you can justify the double jointed arms and things of that nature that you wanted to add to the collection now those are some very fair points but these are for the people that you know maybe it's not a deal breaker for you maybe you can deal with the older head sculpt or the older arm articulation or things of that nature which we're going to get into so I will break down all of the different points as we go through here but these are just some things that came to my brain that I wanted to let you guys know about and maybe you agree with me maybe you're thinking the same as me or maybe you want to grab everything and you guys can let me know some figures down in the comment section below that we saw that did not make the list and figures that you were going to skip out on anyways or figures how you choose your new figures and things like that and also let me know down in the comment section below if you would be interested in a video where we break down how to build a roster on a budget or how to build a pick fed roster on a budget you know if you're limited on your funds or your money and you want to buy some figures to build a pick fed roster or build up a small little roster for your collection let me know if you guys would like to see that so diving in here man starting out with the first figure i'm gonna go with the wrestlemania elite aj styles this is the one from the boneyard match now honestly this is just one of those figures that it's just kind of plain jane you know we've had so many aj styles we've seen this head sculpt before on the elite 74 i think it was and his figures are pretty easy to obtain aj styles is one of those guys that's perfect he's one of of those guys that you can pretty much pick up anywhere you're probably going to find one of his top talents elites just chilling on a shelf somewhere and unless you just really want this look in the jeans or you want a promo gear aj styles i don't know why you would want this of course unless you're just a big taker fan or something of that nature and you really want him in the jeans look or from this match or the cloth shirt that's probably going to come with this thing then this is completely skippable there's so many other aj styles better aj styles of that nature as well so this is one of those figures that i would probably skip unless i was a hardcore aj fan or i wanted it for those other reasons that I just mentioned. Next up, guys, we have the Elite Bianca Belair. Now, this one kind of pains me. I know we have the new removable ear earrings and things like that, but if you don't care about that, you know, it is a cool gear, but I honestly think her Elite 81 figure was so nice. Like, I know this one comes with the SmackDown Women's Championship, but among your collection, you probably already have that title belt. If you don't, you probably want to grab this too, but her first Elite was so good that you don't necessarily need this one is all I'm trying to say. Maybe this one's going to have double jointed arms, which would be an upgrade. I do love the gear here but it's not a must-have this is one of those figures that you could skip over and you may want to the head sculpt on her last figure was really really good as well i don't know if this one's gonna have the bendy wire in the hair but her last figure also had a cloth jacket which could sort of make up for those other things that this figure is that has over that one so that's just one of those that came in my head i figured that you know the bianca belair isn't a must-have as as far as this brand new one is concerned next up man we're getting into mr money in the bank big e now this figure is nice i do like this figure but i'm pretty sure this is the same head sculpt we saw in his last elite figure and his last elite was really good you know it was a really great figure it had interchangeable hands it's a really nice gear and it's pretty much updated i don't think we really unless you just want the one that's missing you know the the to match your kofi kingston or whatever if you guys missed out on that kofi maybe you don't even want this one as well but this is one of those figures that is completely skippable as well it's just the same as his others i don't think to have an updated big e or to fit in your current roster shelf you need the new big e again unless you're talking about double joint arms or something like that that may be a reason to upgrade but if you're just displaying and you don't really care about that and you just want a nice biggie elite you do not need to upgrade with this one right here moving it on along man this one's going to be very interesting because this is going to be the third time we've seen this figure the big boss man elite that is coming very soon we've seen this figure twice before i think it was in elite series 14 or 17 we saw this figure for the first time then we saw this figure in the network spotlight line and now we're seeing it yet again it does look to have a slimmer build i'm sure the head scope will be better you'll have interchangeable hands you'll have different things in that nature i don't know if this is going to have brand new tooling i would guess that it would have brand new tooling probably going to have double jointed arms like we've mentioned before however this figure has been re-released a couple times and you may want to skip it if you've already got that version another thing you may want to do though like this is something that is always great about newer figures coming out people that don't want to spend the money on the new figures you could always take your older ones sell those on ebay or take one or two figures that you don't really care for anymore sell those and replace it with a new figure 
that is a great way to save money as well. But this big boss man, man, not a necessary, not not a necessary need, I don't think. It's not a new look. We've seen this look before. And unless you're just wanting to replace that old one or you miss out on the first two, I don't even know how much they go for nowadays, but you could skip this one. Moving it along, ladies and gentlemen, we have the new Jay Uso. Now, I know you probably want the updated head sculpt. I do like the white sleeve and all of those things. Don't get me wrong, Brad, but we have pretty much seen this figure before, and not only the Elite 54 Jay Uso, but the Elite 64 Jay Uso. It's just a all white jogger gear, which I do like, you know, if you switch the feet from the 54 to the 64, you will actually have this figure already. I do have fix-ups pretty much of this, except for the head sculpt. He does have the white sleeve, which I really appreciate. Again, double-jointed arms are going to be present. Head sculpt's a little bit weird. I think I do prefer his other one besides the haircut. You know, it is an updated haircut, but I don't know if this is a necessary need, you know? They do have new battle packs coming out with hats that look sick AF too, but I think they have the older haircut and Jimmy is yelling once again, so I, I, I just, I, I've given up, man. Jimmy's always yelling. But this is a Jay Uso figure that you may want to miss out. Again, man, some of these things are just like cutting some corners or cutting out some figures where you could spend on other figures that you've really wanted or that you really, really want to add to the collection. So if I could skip out on this brand new Big E and this brand new Bianca Belair, I can go get a figure that I've really, really wanted and one that is brand new to the collection instead of, you know, a character that I've already seen. Says the guy with the 100 John Cena's and 78 Seth Rollins. Next up, ladies and gentlemen, we have Yokozuna. Now, this Yokozuna figure is probably going to be his best one for sure. However, it's not a must-have. We've seen him in the white gear. I think I don't know if it's once or twice. I want to say it's once. I know we got the red gear as well. I think we've had the red gear twice. He had two. He had the Hall of Fame Elite. He had the Flashback Elite at the Walmart Exclusive, and then he had the main Elite figure. And now we have this fourth Yokozuna. I don't think you need all four Yokozunas, says the guy with 78 Seth Rollins again. But I think that you may want to miss out on this one if you've already got the other ones. I think the Flashback is really, really nice in the red gear. This is in the white gear, but you may want to update that. Again, double jointed arms, posability is probably going to be better, head sculpt is probably going to be a little bit better, but again, cutting those corners, you can save some money in the long run, and you can add other figures in your collection that you really, really want to grab. Moving it on up the line, ladies and gentlemen, we have another variant pretty much of Keith Lee, the Survivor Series Elite Keith Lee. Looks pretty much the same as his first Elite 82 figure and his Chase variant. It's just pretty much a repaint of the Elite 82. You guys know that a lot of these, you know, these Royal Rumble waves and the Survivor Series waves and these, you know, SummerSlam waves, they're usually just repaints of existing figures. It's a way to retool, but also give us hype for the pay-per-view and also give us newer figures in the line with a simple repaint. And Keith Lee's a great example of that right here. Keith Lee was an amazing figure, but if you already have the Elite 82, you already have the Chase variant, you may want to skip out on this one. This is pretty much an Elite version of his basic figure that we saw. However, I, I still love it. I think it's great. And if you did miss out on the other Keith Lees, definitely go grab it. I think you can actually get it on ringside right now for 19 and his chase variant for like 25. But since we just recently got his figures, this could be an easy skip for somebody. Also, probably one of the only figures on this list that is not going to include double jointed arms. Moving it up the list, ladies and gentlemen, we have Karrion Cross's new figure that isn't out just yet, but you know, we just got him in Elite 85. I think he's coming on down the line in a few series now. And his figure is not that much different. I don't know. The head sculpt's kind of look similar. They may be using the same head sculpt for the render. That could be a thing. I'm sure by that time he will get a new head sculpt. I have seen crazier things. Don't get me wrong. I've seen the same head sculpt used 40 series later. It's happened. I've seen it. It's not off the top of my head, but I've seen it. But Karrion Cross is one of those that, you know, his first elite was pretty damn good. I don't think we're going to need this other one unless you missed out on that one. And I think that one's also cheap on Amazon right now if you want to go grab that. But Karrion Cross was another one of those figures that I think, you know, you may not want to pre-order it. You may not want to grab it, man. Save some money. Cut some coins corners in your collection. That way you can grab other figures you really want, as we've stated. Now, these last three are going to be kind of controversial. Maybe. They may not be controversial, but they're worth pointing out. They're definitely worth pointing out, and I want to get into them right quick. The first one being Matt Riddle. His first Elite is completely okay. Like, I love the gear. I actually like the, the white Riddle better than the newer Riddle that we're getting. However, this newer one, it could have a new formula. It could have... It's going to have double-jointed arms more than likely, and since it's going to have double-jointed arms, they're probably going to upgrade the size. That's why I put this one in the maybe section because his his newer figure is probably going to be updated and better and it's probably looking like a, a shoulder and arm swap for for my white elite because I really want the updated articulation and stuff but with the white gear so we'll see about that I'll play around with that but that's one of those maybes another maybe I have is the ultimate edition undertaker head sculpts aren't very good torso looks pretty awkward and jacketed I don't even know what I just said but I feel like just because it's an ultimate edition undertaker people are going to grab it anyways but it may be one of those you want to skip out on wait on another 
another Undertaker. You know they're going to plug in another Taker sometime, and it's probably going to be a lot better than this one. Head sculpts aren't the most accurate. They kind of look like Michael Jackson. Very awkward body shape. Ultimate Edition Undertaker is one of those figures you may want to miss out on just because of how weird it looks, and they're going to release another one. That's one of those I had to plug in there. And then the last figure that I have, guys, is going to be the ringside exclusive Tommaso Ciampa. I think his Elite 69 figure is head and shoulders above this one. I know he's got the longer tights. I know he's got the double jointed arms. However, and the mask is cool, don't get me wrong, but the body mold definitely, I do not like the body mold they chose for him here. I don't know why they went with the smaller torso. I don't even know if it's there's enough time to change it. I don't know if they're going to do that. I highly doubt it. I bet, they, I bet they do give him the Daniel Bryan torso. And I would just say hold on to your Elite 69 Ciampa or go grab that one, man. I honestly would. You could, oh, like there's going to be some double jointed arms that you could switch the shoulders with if it came down to it and you really wanted the double jointed arms or something like that. It does have the cool mask and he is also going to come with a really nice cloth jacket. So you may not want to skip out on it. However, man, that torso just bothers me to death. So I'm that guy, you know? So I don't know, Brad. That's just my list. That's the list that I came up with. I mean, there's some others that you could probably skip out on. This was just my first-hand opinion going over the figures that we got. I feel like the rest of them, like if you gave me a case on why you would want it, I, I could see it, you know? So I didn't want to spend too, too, you know, be too critical. I mean, if I really wanted to, I could sit here and probably dissect every figure we saw and give you a reason why you might want to skip out on it, which could have been a video in itself. Reasons why you want to skip every figure that was shown or reasons you may not want to buy the upcoming figures. And I could break down every single one of them why you may not want to grab it, but I tried to be pretty critical and break down the ones specifically that uh, you may want to skip out on in my own personal and uh, professional opinion. You know what I'm saying? One last figure you may want to skip out on, guys, is the Bronson Reed figure because we're not getting it. I'm just kidding. I don't know when we're getting we're, we're probably not getting it, though. That's a real thing. We probably are not getting that. But if you guys want to see that pick fed budget video roster thingy, let me know down in the comment section below. But before we get out of here, guys, let's get into our random shout out. And this shout out is going to go to Mr. Championator. This was a this is a Hall of Fame comment right here. He says, we have come to terms on the release of White Trusty Hair Dryer. We wish him all the best in its future endeavors. That was absolutely hilarious because given all of the recent releases from WWE and I did switch out from the white hair dryer on this last episode of Action Figure Surgery. Really clever and funny comment from Mr. Championator. So huge shout out to you, man. That was great. I know a lot of people appreciated that comment. So huge shout out to you, man. That was freaking sweet. Huge shout out to you, man. That was great. But thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't cross the line like freaking uh, the, 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 the WWE for releasing those guys. You cross the line. I've been